and and then me plugging the screen the screen is the input. And then and then remember how it's random? So you can kind of get an idea for why it's random because like depending on how how I pick, it's gonna change change how it sounds. Like if I pick really close to the bridge. Here are the kind of differences. Cool. So now, Wesley, uh, now, now I'm putting my hand, uh, finger on the string. Uh, what parameter of the VI the does that affect? The end. The, the end. end. The delay. Exactly. It's, it's, it's affecting what, it's affecting, uh, what uh, frequencies are allowed through. So here's one set of frequencies. It happens to be an A. And then here's another set of frequencies. And that would be a C. So now it's the trickier part. So now I'm going to do something uh, we guitarists usually call like a palm mute. I'm going to basically rest my, the edge of my palm uh, to, on the strings a little bit to dampen it. So listen to it with and without the, the palm mute. Here's without. Here's with. What part of the VI do you think changes uh, when I do that? There's two possible answers to this. What? Uh, nothing. Say something, or I, I, didn't, I didn't hear what you said. Um, is that the 50% of, um, like, the plus thing? Yeah, so, so here, here's, here's one possible thing you might notice. If I, if I play without the palm mute, it rings for quite a while, right? But with the palm mute, it dies out really fast. What do you think, which parameter do you think affects this part? Alpha. Alpha, exactly. So that's one. So that's one thing that could be affecting this sound. The other, the other thing, the other component is a little bit more subtle. Um, so remember when you guys put the low pass filter on? So if we, so the normal low pass that you that you did was looked something like this. With the palm mute, uh, it, it might turn out that the low pass ends up being something like a different shape, and then that. That would create sort of a different kind of sound. So th this was a little bit more subtle, but I honestly don't know which one is more prevalent, the alpha one or low pass filter. So I just thought I just thought it was pretty it was kind of cool to sort of see the comparison between the physical model you guys implemented and the real model. So I hope that was a little fun. One more, one more thing. Uh, so guitar amps, you can you, uh, just another fun little fact. Guitar amps can be basically thought as filters as well. So here, so like here's one filter, as opposed to to something more intense, sort of like. Uh, they're not LTI, by the way. They're uh, guitar filters are usually pretty complicated, and then it, I don't want to go into that stuff yet. But um, in my opinion, pretty cool stuff. So. That's my little presentation slash surprise. So, have fun.